I'm James Neville Taylor with the Builder All Team. In this video, we're going to go over the importance of webinars for third party and affiliate offers. Webinars are very powerful. There's no denying that. Webinars can build trust, teach and sell in a very small amount of time. In fact, most webinars have three main parts. The beginning, where you introduce yourself, you build rapport, you build trust, you tell your story. Part two is where you teach, you provide value, you provide what you said you were going to provide with your advertising. And this is the real core of your webinar. The third and final part is the pitch. The pitch is where you're going to be selling the product that you're promoting. Webinars can be completely automated, although I'd recommend doing them live at least five times so you can get the hang of them. Once you've done it a few times and you've got good at it, you can record your best version and put it on an automated webinar so it can play either on demand or you can have it play a couple of times a week or once every hour or whenever you like. But this is really powerful because you can have a webinar selling for you automatically over and over again. And it's one of the most powerful selling tools there are. Just think for a moment, what would you rather buy from? A sales letter describing a product or an actual live presentation? That's the difference between a sales page and a webinar. And webinars can sell much, much better than any videos or any sales pages. Your webinar should be highly educational. It should teach something. It should obviously be high quality. So the information provided should be of high quality and not rehashed. It should be entertaining and engaging. You can't keep people on a webinar for very long if you're not entertaining and engaging with your audience. And it should be based on data, so you should be able to back up the data that you're providing. The promises and information you're providing should be backed up by data. And of course, you should present value. When you're doing a webinar, you can really interact with your audience. And after you've done it a few times, you know what questions are going to be asked and what you need to present, which is why I recommend doing the live version at least a few times so you can get some feedback and then you know what information you best need to present. You can present the product's features. You can show different use cases of the product. You can talk about its benefits and drawbacks. You can tell people your personal history with the product and you can help your audience get the most out of it. At the end of a webinar, it's a very good idea to do a Q&A session and answer any and all objections and queries that your leads may have. And it used to be that you had to spend a load of money to bring in people to a webinar because there's nothing worse than doing a big webinar and only two people show up. But with the Builder All, you have the ability to program a ghost audience. And the ghost audience basically makes it look like there are a lot of people on the webinar. You can schedule comments on the webinar and you can interact with those comments to make it look like it's a live webinar and also make it look like there's more people on the webinar than there actually is. So a very powerful tool we have in Builder All to make your webinars a lot more successful. And of course, with the Builder All webinar, you can also automatically schedule all of your live and pre-recorded webinars. It does all of the selling for you. Once you've done it once and you've set it all up, it's going to continue selling for you until you turn it off. And that's very, very powerful. Webinars do take a little while to set up and a little while to perfect. But once they're running, they're one of the most powerful sales machines that you can have in your arsenal. In this video, we went over the power of using webinars for third party and affiliate offers.